let's look at the solution total six friends <clears throat> named jasmine meher chandrika danin era and farida visited ice cream festival in lulu mall in kuch they won a lucky draw for the festival and they could get one free scoop of the following types of ice creams chocolate strawberry butterscotch and vanilla every hour <clears throat> they stayed at the festival for four hours four friends stayed at the festival for four hours okay and in every hour they could get uh, sorry uh, and they could get free scoop of the following four flavors of the ice cream and they could get one scoop every hour the number of scoops that they could get if they stayed for four hours and they could get one scoop every hour each of them got four scoops okay the following table reference to the first table the following table shows the number of scoops of different types of ice cream eaten by them in four hours time period so jasmine has eaten two chocolate two butterscotch meher has eaten two chocolate two strawberry chandrika has eaten two butterscotch two vanilla and so on we know for all six of them the following table the following table those the total number of scoops of different types of ice creams eaten by the six friends taken together in each of the four hours okay so this table is the type of ice cream with uh, in each hour the first hour second hour third hour fourth hour how were they consumed okay there are 24 combinations of friend scoop are the combinations are decided as jasmine chocolate in r1 r2 r3 whichever it is or let's say jasmine r1 which chocolate did she eat uh, which uh, ice cream did she eat meher r1 which chocolate did she eat so i'm going ahead and creating a table this way because i want 24 things because i want 24 total cells i'll go jasmine and meher and chandrika and danin and then era and farida and r1 and r2 and r3 and our four so let me draw lines let me create a table Now, each corresponding cell depicting row and name of the person, I can also plug in. I can also plug in what flavor of ice cream they ate, what flavor of ice cream they ate. Okay. Looking at the tables, you know, look at R1. Three people ate strawberry flavored ice cream. If three people ate strawberry flavored ice cream, from the first table, I know the only people who ate strawberry flavored ice cream were Meher and Danin and Farida. So, Meher in R1 had strawberry and Danin had strawberry and Farida had strawberry. This is done. So this three of strawberry is taken care of. Now for vanilla, there were two people. Vanilla, there were two people. Who are the people who can eat vanilla? It is Chandrika, Era and Farida. But because Farida is already eating strawberry in R1, the two people who ate strawberry in the first hour have to be Chandrika and Era. So this is vanilla and this is vanilla and in the first hour jasmine has to eat something so she must be eating chocolate so this way everything of the first hour is taken care of everything of the first hour is taken care of additionally i can go ahead and for each of these people i can also remove uh, whatever is left here for chocolate only one person is gone for strawberry thief three iterations are gone and for vanilla two iterations are gone we're down to this number now let's look at r2 again we start with the highest number butterscotch three people have eaten butterscotch and the only three people who can eat butterscotch are jasmine chandrika and danin so she had butterscotch jasmine chandrika and done it. Okay. So this three is taken care of. 
Next, I needed two people who eat chocolate. The three people who eat chocolate from the table at the top is Jasmine, Meher, and Era. But I can't have Jasmine in the list. So three people who eat chocolate have to be Meher and Era. So this has to be chocolate. This has to be chocolate. And therefore, vanilla was consumed by Farida in the second hour. This is vanilla. And this is the extent to which we can be certain. This is the extent to which we can be certain because in third RC, two people, uh, oh, oh, one other thing I have to do. After the second R, I also have to reduce it down to one and one. Chocolate, uh, two iterations of chocolate are gone. One iteration of vanilla is gone, which is from Farida. So this also comes down to one. One iteration for butterscotch is gone. So one, one, and one. This is also done. So I have one, one recordings left everywhere. For butterscotch, for the third R, see, for R1 and R2, we had an advantage because the strawberry, three iterations we had. In R2, three iterations of butterscotch we had. But in R3 and R4, we don't have three iterations anywhere. We have two, two, one, one. So if I, even if I start with butterscotch two, it could be Chandrika and Danin. It could be Chandrika and Jasmine. It could be Danin and Jasmine. So you can have three combos. So you can't be certain which two ate butterscotch and thereby nothing further can be uh, can be done in a guaranteed fashion. So because in R1, strawberry, three was there and there were only three people who had strawberry, we could record it. For R2, because there were only three people who had butterscotch, we could record it. But for R3 and R4, we could not record it. Okay. This is the extent to which we can solve this. Let's get to individual questions. How many of the 24 combinations of the friend scoop R can be uniquely determined? Can you see? 12 of them can be uniquely determined. The remaining 12 are unknown to us. So the answer to the first question is option C, 12. Next, if Chandrika and Danin were the only friends who ate butterscotch in the third hour. So, butterscotch, Chandrika and Danin. I've also done it with a separate uh, pen because this is a this this instruction is only valid for question. We'll worry about it later. Two people have had butterscotch. Two people have had butterscotch. Okay. So butterscotch gone. Now, two people who can have vanilla are Chandrika, Era, and Farida because Chandrika is already eating butterscotch. The vanilla people have to be Era and Farida. So this is vanilla. This is vanilla. This is vanilla and this is vanilla. Okay. So chocolate, who can eat? Either Meher or Jasmine. But I, uh, Meher or Jasmine, both of them can eat chocolate. So no, no go there. But who can eat strawberry? Strawberry can only be eaten by Meher. Meher out of Jasmine and Meher, only Meher can eat strawberry. So this has to be strawberry. And this has to be chocolate. Okay. So when we come to the next star, the two people who are eating chocolate, see, Jasmine's chocolate is done. Meher's strawberry is done. So in the next star, Meher has to eat chocolate. And Jasmine, sorry, sorry, Meher has to eat chocolate, not Jasmine. Meher has to eat chocolate. And Jasmine has to eat butterscotch. Similarly, in the third, uh, in the fourth hour, Chandrika's butterscotch consumption is already taken care of, so it has to be vanilla here. Similarly, for Danin, the butterscotch consumption is also taken care of, so it has to be strawberry here. For um, Era, in the fourth hour, it has to be chocolate consumption. And for Farida, in the fourth hour, because she had vanilla earlier, it has to be strawberry consumption. If you go back and align it with your fourth hour consumption also, two instances we needed for chocolate. We have that for E and we have that for M. Two instances we needed for strawberry. We have that for F. We have that for D. One instance we need for butterscotch, that is with J. One instance we need for vanilla, that is with C. So everything has been uniquely identified now. So if Chandrika and Dani were the only two friends who ate butterscotch in the third hour, agreed? How many of the 24 combinations of the Fred scoop R can be uniquely determined? All 24 of them can be uniquely determined. This is done. All 24 of them. 
Now the sad or wonderful thing is this was only valid for the second question. So we can't utilize it any further. When we start the next question, this has to be empty again. Next, if Jasmine and Dami were the only two friends who ate butterscotch in the third. So butterscotch and butterscotch. See, Jasmine and Danin are the only two people who had butterscotch. So, now see, uh, butterscotch, uh, this fellow. Uh, for Jasmine in the fourth hour, she had to have one chocolate and one butterscotch extra. One butterscotch is coming, so this has to be chocolate. For Chandrika, she could have a butterscotch or a vanilla. Because she is not having butterscotch in this hour, she has to have a vanilla. In this in, and in this hour, she will have a butterscotch. For Danin, she could have a strawberry and a butterscotch. Butterscotch is coming in the third hour. So it has to be a strawberry here. So for the third hour, see, two butterscotch people are done and one vanilla person is done. And one vanilla person is done. For the third hour, one chocolate person is done, one strawberry person is done, and one butterscotch person is done. This is the current state we are at. Okay. Now, Meher. Meher could potentially have had chocolate or have had strawberry. And both those possibilities are still open for Meher. Uh, Meher. Both those possibilities are still open for Meher. How about Era? Era could have had chocolate or could have had vanilla. Both those possibilities are still open for Era. How about for Farida? She could have had a strawberry or a vanilla. Both those possibilities are still open for Farida. And given that I cannot fill up this space, this space or this space with certainty, I thereby cannot fill up this space and this space and this space with certainty. You can go ahead and check all over again. Meher can have strawberry or chocolate. Strawberry, chocolate, both are available. Uh, Era can have uh, vanilla or chocolate. Vanilla is available, chocolate is available. Farida can have uh, strawberry or vanilla. Vanilla is available, strawberry is available. So these six spots we can't fill up, but the rest 18 spots can be filled up. So if Jasmine and Dan were the only two friends who ate butterscotch in the third hour, how many of the 24 combinations of friends scoop R can be uniquely determined? The answer to the question is 18. Six spots remain empty. Rest we can figure out. Okay. If Jasmine and Chandrika were the only two friends who ate butterscotch in the third hour. Jasmine and Chandrika. Okay. See, I'm not erasing Jasmine's uh, data because that is getting repeated in question four. So butterscotch and chocolate, this is there. Chandrika also has butterscotch and thereby she will have vanilla here. More importantly, let me get rid of this. The butterscotch eating people, butterscotch eating people, there are three of them, Jasmine, Chandrika and Danin. So Danin has to eat butterscotch here. She cannot have it in uh, R3. So this has to be butterscotch. So if this is butterscotch, this has to be strawberry. This is done. So two butterscotch people are gone. One strawberry person is gone. I need two vanilla people. Jasmine can't have, well, sorry, Meher can't have vanilla. So vanilla is not here. The two vanilla people have to be here. This is vanilla and this is vanilla. Thereby the only chocolate person is here. As soon as I'm able to fill up this column, I can straight away fill up the last column also. Strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, vanilla. So chocolate and finally, Strawberry, vanilla, vanilla. So strawberry. I can reach all 24 unique cases, all 24 unique combinations. How many of the 24 combinations of the friend scoop R can be uniquely determined? All 24 of them can be uniquely determined. And that is the entirety of this set. The difficult thing with this set or the advantage that I have is I'm doing it on a screen. So I can erase stuff and I can rewrite it. And thereby, the recommendation when you are solving it in your notebook has to be you create a base table. And for every subpart, you go back to that base table. Either you go back to that base table or you create a big enough table that you write things in the corner. And when you're moving on to the next question, you cancel it out so that you don't have to recreate the table over and over and over and over again, right from scratch. 
there has to be a midpoint there has to be a, a let's say current game save point that if you restart the work you can start from there not having to necessarily go back to the original case all over again that will be all for this set mm -hmm.